Good morning guys, Kirk here, Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what we're going to do is, we got a patch here that was done several years ago. And it wasn't done very well, obviously. It's a smooth patch and here we have a skip trial finish. Now this patch here is, it's, it's heavier and lighter in some areas. You put a trial, you can see it kind of bounces. So the fella asked me, gee, well should we remove it? The problem is if you remove this patch, you'll have to repaper it and rewire it because you'll compromise the membrane. An easier method would be just to uh, apply another color finish over it. You go from corner to corner, and here I can take it a little higher. This wall, if I hit it with water, you can see it darkens. This patch also darkens, which means I don't need a bonding agent to do what I'm going to do. The color coat will adhere by suction. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a water hose because it's about 90 degrees already and the sun's coming. This is going to, this, the walls are hot, it's going to draw the uh, water and moisture right out of this color coat. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate this wall and it doesn't matter if I get this window wet. In fact, it, we have a, a curb in here, it's a deck, so it doesn't matter. I'm not going to cover this window. But if I drop any on the track, I'm just going to hose it in. The idea is saturate this. So when I do my coat right now, it will adhere. Uh, here we go. So I'm going to take some mud out of here. And rather than, rather than just go four inches, I'm going to take it to this natural uh, wall here. Now, as I'm going to the wall here, it'll give me a good place to stop it. And plus, it'll hide this gap right here. If I just try to texture right over the gap, it's not going to come out too well. So, I'm going to that. Then I'm going to come above here. I'm only going to go about six inches above here. And what I'll do is I'm going to Float this in. Dan, give me a couple scoops, please. And one more. I won't, uh, I won't show you the whole spreading because it's going to take me five more minutes to spread the whole thing out. In this corner here, I'm going to go straight to the wall. to the wall. I think give me another five minutes and I'll have this all done. I'm going to float it and then I'll show you the texture. Okay guys, we went ahead and spread that out. Now I'm going to take, I dropped a little bit on the, just wipe it right off because we have a track under here. Now what I'll do is since I've spread this out, I want to take my float and go over my joints. I'm floating that right there. And the top piece here, I'm feathering this in a little bit better that way when I do my texture it'll blend in a lot better too. So, we gotta do this. We gotta take that top up a little bit. Otherwise, it won't blend in. Now over here, against this wall, that doesn't matter because we have a wall right here. And now, what I do next is I look at their texture. Okay, I'm looking at their texture, and what I see is these guys went up, it went out. Most folks do do that way. All right, so I'm going to now match their texture. This is a 20-30 mud right here, so I'm looking at it. They went straight up, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it right here, straight up. And depending on when I knock this down, that means when I trowel it, I'll have that texture. When I get to this corner over here, I'll pull it a different way so you can actually see me. So I'll be taking it this way, just like that. Take it down to the below the deck level. And when this is painted, or you're not going to see this right here. This, this particular finish 
It's called a skip trial. And what's the beauty of a skip trial? It's very forgiving. If this was a um, smooth finish, couldn't do this. If it was a flood finish, couldn't do it. But this, uh, this skip trial is very forgiving. So, okay. A little heavy here. Last thing I'm gonna do is just finish this. Come in here. You can get there. Now, what I can see is we're in a hot neighborhood. I'm gonna let that set a little bit, a little bit longer because it's in the shade. Right here, I'm looking at their pattern. Their pattern was knocked down before it got completely dry. So here, that's what we have. This I gotta let set about five minutes. And over here, this is ready too. So I'm gonna knock this down here. And when this dries, yeah, it has to be painted, but you will not see where the patchwork was done. Here I can hit this, hit it, and I hit it real light here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to uh, a little bit more, and that'll do it. When this is painted, you're not going to see that joint. I'm going to set myself up a ladder and just pull it up a little bit in about five minutes. Anyhow, I'm going to finish doing this, but you guys get the idea. A lot of people call me, they say, man, I need to break out this patch because it's bad. You don't need to break it out every single time. Sometimes maybe, but on this you don't. We're going to clean up the frame and and do a couple final touches, but just wanted to show you what you can and what you can't do. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. And as usual, folks, we'll see you guys on the next fix.